Winter weather moving into the area. Your drive to work or school in the morning it might be a little more challenging. So ODOP says the plows are going to be out overnight trying to help and even into the early morning hours. But Ken Brown is live at a place for us where those plows are all going to be making some frequent stops. The ODOT salt pile. Yeah, challenging is one word to describe the morning commute. Miserable is another one that I've heard thrown around today by people who are going to be treating these roads. They do not expect it to be good conditions out there. But ODOT has the stockpile of salt ready to go. They've got their trucks over my shoulder here fully prepped. They're ready to hit the road this evening as well. And some work has been done ahead of time inside ODOT's building, which is over my shoulder here, as they review their routes and continue to monitor the forecast. It's going to be a wintry white mess on Friday morning and snow overnight into sunrise will make for a tough start to your day. And that's the key for us right now is the timing and paying attention to that forecast and knowing when the snow is going to hit. So we'll have our crews out on the roadway. Parts of the tri-state are expecting a few inches of snow and with miles and miles of roadway to drop their plows along, ODOT knows things will not be completely clear until after the snowfall subsides. We will probably have a very sloppy, messy morning commute for people. We don't. We want everyone to be aware that um, roads will be passable, but not perfect. Don't expect it, and in, instead expect a very messy commute in the morning. Part of the challenge for ODOT plow drivers will be safely navigating the roads that will be busy with drivers heading to work. They're also issuing a warning to drivers to be cautious around their trucks. A driver's line of sight is limited and their plows create their own plumes of snow that can limit what you are able to see if you're driving near one. The snow cloud is one thing that's blowing up away from that plow and so it is very difficult to see through that that, you know, just imagine when you have a complete whiteout condition when it's just nothing but a blanket of snow coming down all at once. It's the same thing, but even worse when you're on the roadway because you can't see through it. So you can't see to the other side. So while ODOT gets ready for this winter storm, they've got some tips for you to get your vehicle ready. There's some prep work they say you should do. That includes stocking your car with things like jumper cables, warm clothes, flares. They want you to have something in your car that will help you remove the snow, whether it's an ice scraper, a small shovel, maybe a bag of salt in your car as well. You need to be able to have something to dig yourself out in case, of course, you get snuck, stuck in the snow. Coming up at 6, we're going to take this to a uh, city. We're going to go to the city of Hamilton talk with their public works department about how they're keeping your streets and your neighborhood clean and what you can do to help them out too. Reporting live in Butler County, Ken Brown, Fox 19 now. Thank you, Ken Brown. It's a great time to download the free Fox 19 now weather app. It's going to send you alerts when the snow moves into your area. You can simply scan that QR code to get it straight to your mobile device.